Welcome to another Sentry Show and Tell. Abji is a Sentry engineer who works on our web front-end SDKs, and today he's introducing us to Sentry's latest SDK for Remix. Sentry made this SDK with lots of love and support from our community. Check out our docs and the NPM package linked in the description. The Remix SDK is still in beta, so also drop us a note on GitHub if you run into any issues. Hey everyone, my name is Abji. I'm a software engineer on the web front-end SDK team. And today I'd like to introduce you to our newest JavaScript SDK, the Remix SDK. Remix is a JavaScript full stack web framework for React. It's uh, kind of similar to Next.js, if you're familiar with that. It's made by some pretty popular JavaScript influencers uh, in the JavaScript community, Michael Jackson and Ryan Florence, uh, most famous for things like React Router, Unpackage, and Reach UI. You might be asking here though, come on, man, another JavaScript framework? And yes, it's another JavaScript framework. But as mentioned before, this one's made by folks that are really well established and respected in the JavaScript community. It's relatively new, being released last year, November 22nd, and it has over 77,000 weekly downloads. And that's steadily climbing. And with the downloads climbing, you can see that the community is slowly coming on board. It's important here that Sentry is with the innovators. And in this case, the JavaScript community innovators are Remix, trying to push the boundaries in how to think about a framework and how to design web applications. And with Remix in the list, nobody really has the breadth we do for front-end browser monitoring, both for errors and performance. Just think about all of these different platforms. If you go to another competitor, there's simply not the kind of options here. And we're right there at the forefront, pushing the JavaScript community forward by supporting these various frameworks. So what about building it? How, how did we do it? Well, it had quite the humble start. We just opened up a GitHub issue and asked the community what they think. We knew we generally had to use our SDKs that we already built to work under the hood, but there were some open questions around where we hook into and the quality of errors and performance data. Luckily, we did get some help. David did a bunch of great investigation looking at how Sentry and Remix could integrate with each other and started an open discussion with the community on various strategies that could be used at the same time, Ben helped us reach out to the folks who actively work on Remix, like Kenzie Dodds, to help us get a connection that way and get feedback on our eventual work on the SDK. Once we kind of had the details down and we knew what to do, we set up a public roadmap. This kind of contained a list of items of what exactly we needed to do for us to consider the SDK to be fully functional error monitoring and performance monitoring for both the client side and server side, source maps and release health support, as well as additional context, all wrapped in the easiest installation process possible. After we set up the public roadmap, we got a lot of positive feedback from folks who were excited about us building this Remix SDK. We got people coming in giving us advice and feedback as well as just general comments of excitement, like we can't wait to see it get released. And finally, it was. We went through stages of an alpha and a beta, testing things out and rolling out the kinks, but we're ready to finally announce Remix to the world. Now, do you wanna add Sentry to your Remix app? It's pretty simple. You add a Sentry init call to your server side and then one to your client side, and then you deploy. And that's pretty much that, that. Here's an error detail of an error we threw in a Remix application that came because of a misuse of Prisma, which is the ORM that Remix uses. And here's a really great looking performance transaction waterfall with uh, some loaders hitting an index endpoint, some database calls with Prisma, and then another document request call. And you can see there's also even an error in here. And we, we got that working, associating errors to transactions. 
One thing I'd really like to note is that we had a ton of really strong community support while building this SDK. Just want to give a shout out and a quick example. This is Moishi. He came in to uh, and reported a remix bug and was like, hey, we should probably fix this. We were like, yeah, but it's kind of hard to reproduce. And he said, no problem. I'd be more than happy to uh, test things out locally on my service, whatever changes you make. And so we then tried experimenting with different changes and even ended up giving him Git patches that he would apply to his uh, local running remix service so we can quickly test out changes. So it's a really big help and it helped and helped us identify some key bugs that we needed to do that we fixed for the alpha version. So what's the progress like so far? Well, as of today, we have 63 active organizations using the Remix SDK. And mind you, we've been in betas and alphas so far completely with kind of some bugs here and there, especially during the alpha. But it's climbing every week. It seems like it's not going to stop. So what's next? Well, we got to take a look at improving some of our server-side errors. There's some active efforts around that, and every day we've been kind of getting better. We think we can expand the performance monitoring, especially server-side, to include more spans, include more data, and kind of have a richer out-of-the-box experience. And last, we want to improve the source maps upload process. So it's less manual and more just like, I initialize Sentry, please make it work for me. That's pretty much it. Thanks for listening and have a good one.